Alright you guys, so obviously I did a live reaction to the top 10, I almost said top 5, I almost did a live reaction to the top 10 worst Naruto games of all time. So right now I'm going to do another live reaction of a Naruto game called Top 5 Best Naruto Games. And I cannot wait to see what Naruto games are on this list. I'm pretty sure Storm is on this list. Some type of Storm game is on this list. And I'm pretty sure, actually I'm just pretty sure that Storm is on this list. So. Anyways, let's just hop right into this because I cannot wait to see what is on this list right now. It might be all the Storm games, like that, that's only four of those, so we might, we might need a, another, another. Let's just jump right in. We here at DGN are very excited for the release of Naruto Storm 4 and to really appreciate this game, we decided to have a look back at the best Naruto games ever made. I'm Bloki, and I just went over more than 50 Naruto titles, released for all kinds of platforms from 2003 up to the present, and you'd be surprised at how bad most of these games are. But today we'll talk about the good stuff and not the bad stuff, and to make this list a bit more interesting and not too repetitive, I've decided to limit myself to one game per series, otherwise this whole list would be Ultimate Ninjas and Clash. Let's begin! Alright, let's begin. Number 5. The Ultimate Ninja Hero series for the PlayStation Portable began Ultimate as a simplified Ninja version Impact. of the PlayStation 2 Ultimate Ninja games, but Impact PSP, separated it itself so from this franchise in a significant way. I don't even know why they kept the Ultimate Ninja name. Maybe because it sold copies, yeah. I don't know. It's anyway, so they moved away from the 2D fighting system into something that resembled more of a Dynasty game Warriors really game. Like it has it. a I ton of playable characters, game, and beating up hordes of enemies as a ninja from the Naruto series was a ton of fun. Naruto The Broken Bond is a game by Ubisoft, and it's the sequel to Rise of a Ninja game, for the Xbox 360. Rise Xbox. of the Ninja innovated in a couple of interesting ways, and tried to captivate an audience that wasn't already a fan of the animated Xbox series, by telling any. the original story and using original any, anime cutscenes, uh, right. and making good an approachable action-adventure game. That said, combat was a bit shallow, and you had a lot well, of the same enemies game going game. on. But then Broken Bond improved on the Rise of the Ninja concept. The adventure sequences have puzzles guess, that you have you to coordinate multiple characters with, like <laughs> using yeah, different ninja's dude. jutsu to solve the puzzle. It Mechanic. featured CG cutscenes instead of the original anime, and it even did get to fight the actual three battles characters. offline, with tag team and single battle online. It still had its flaws, it had a ton Instead of fetch quests and tons of backtracking, which drag on for a bit, but with an increased roster and a more fluid battle system, they made a way better game. The Naruto Clash of the Ninja series had a lot of yes, ups and downs, but good, Revolution so. 3 is clearly the fan that was favorite. The first Naruto Despite game the game had coming out back in 2007, it still has an active competitive scene around it. It's a traditional switch. fighting game, like a Tekken or a Virtual Fighter, using Naruto characters. It's very easy to learn, you execute most of your combos by combining strong and weak attacks in a different order, but has enough depth to make it a hard game to master. It was also the first Clash of Ninja to feature an online component though most players experienced heavy lag at the time, the next yeah. game probably wasn't that good. Still, if you play it locally, it is a very polished and balanced game and arguably the best one Local. of the series. It also has a story mode that covers the Kazikage rescue mission, though be prepared to get your ass beat by Daidara. That fight was no joke. Ultimate Ninja 3 innovated on so yeah, many levels I knew that I had a really hard time here. not putting this at number Ninja, 1. With a roster of 42 characters, it allowed players not only to series. customize them by equipping different jutsu, that game a feature good. that wasn't that introduced on good. Ultimate Ninja 2, but also Naruto, their Sasuke, ultimate Sasuke, attack. They also got rid of the three-part ultimates present in the series up to this point, which were cool to watch, but dragged on and got old quite fast. Some of these jutsu also trigger a, a transformation, was the yeah, first thing to have in-game transformations, transformations to making some characters more powerful and to allow them to match. Brother. It was also the first Ultimate brother, Ninja with CGI cutscenes in story mode, which looked amazing at the time. Ultimate Ninja like, 3 was also the game that introduced said, Jutsu like Clash as a feature that we all miss nowadays. This game added so much stuff to the combat system that nowadays we just take for granted. And Me while brother, Ultimate, Ultimate Ninja so 4 and 5 might be better games overall Naruto, because of the bigger roster and stuff, Ultimate Ninja 3 was the big innovator of the series. The Ultimate Ninja Storm games took the Ultimate Ninja combat system and put it in a 3D environment. They changed the way transformations work by calling them awakenings and allowing the player to trigger them even without using an ultimate attack. Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 introduced the support drive, a gauge that would fill up every time you called on the assistance of your buddies, yeah. and when full, it would allow you to release a team ultimate. But it was only in 2012 
on Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. I heard generations a much really needed really feature good. brought everything together nicely. I never played Generations. Substitution I heard it was really not that you good. see, if you're not familiar with the substitution oh, gauge, it basically it breaks any combo that you're in by vanishing and reappearing behind your opponent. Up till this point, there was no limit to the amount of substitutions you could perform. It was all timing based. With Generations, they were a lot more lenient with the timing, but now the substitution was a resource that needed to be managed, making this a strategic ability, People not a button that you mash in the hopes of vanishing. It's the so game like, where all really the matter. systems came together nicely, and besides the bigger roster, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 added very little to the franchise, and we don't, <laughs> we don't really talk about Revolution, do we? It also helps that they <laughs> did away with all the free roaming in story mode, so they could focus more on the battles, because I'm personally not a big fan of those free roaming sections of the previous games. Anyway, Storm Generations, welcome to the top of our list. And like I said, I went over more than 15 Naruto games, so if there's any game in particular that you think deserves to be on this list, let us know in the comments below. While you're down there, click the like button, it helps us out a lot, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, we got tons of Naruto videos in the pipeline, they're ready to come out someday in the future. If you want to reach me directly, you can do so on Twitter at Magical underscore Noob. If you just want to chat about video games or tell me how bad this list is. This list is wrong, Glock. You can't even pronounce Naruto right. I've been Glock. Take care, guys. See you next time. I bet Glock is the first time pronounce Naruto right. Alright, you guys. That video was amazing. I do agree with most of those games that he said in that top 5 best Naruto sold games. And I agree with him very much. I agree that... Naruto, I agree that Naruto Storm is one of the best games. I believe that Naruto the Ninja is one of the best games. I believe that the Broken Bond was the best game. I've never played it, but I watched it online and I like the I like the mechanics and everything. I never had the glory to at least explore Naruto games on the Xbox because I never had an Xbox before. I was at PlayStation, PlayStation is forever. Um and I I do I do agree with his other games too that he likes that he says that Naruto is best on. So Tell me what is your best Naruto game that is coming out. Do not say Storm 4 because I'm pretty sure some of you are going to. Do not say Storm 4 in the comment section below because Storm 4 isn't even out yet. So you can't say it's the best Naruto game of all time. Because you don't really know. You can't compare it yet. All you can compare it with is screenshots and gameplays and demos. That's mostly it. You can't really compare it because you haven't played, you haven't played it yourself yet. But when you do, tell me in the comment section below if Storm 4 is, is in your top 5, is in your top 10. Where is it? And what is your favorite Naruto Storm game of 2016, or at least back then to now? I guess. But anyway, my name is Alexis Fire and I see you guys.